Hello everyone, I'm Jay and this is the Camden Stitch. Today I thought we would do things a little bit differently. I am going to be talking about how to get bargain sewing tools and where you can get them and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make up a basket of um, basics that you would get in your kit that every sewist probably owns and I'm going to do a comparison between buying them in various shops in the UK um, compared to buying them online from various sources. Now the main places that I like to shop for my sewing tools are eBay, Amazon, AliExpress and Wish. Now I don't know if you know about Wish but it's basically it's a little app or website where there are hundreds and hundreds and thousands of traders uh, mainly based in China who sell their stuff directly to you and it's an absolute brilliant solution for things that you don't mind having a little bit of a wait for. So um, I remember being in a craft shop on uh, the high street near me and uh, Ian saying, oh, what about these, um, these thread snips? And I said, oh, you know, I, I can get them a lot cheaper if I buy them on Wish. And he said, uh, but what, won't they come from China? And I was like, everything comes from China. The ones right in front of you come from China. Um, the thing is with Wish is you're cutting out the middleman. Now I do know that that means you're not supporting the bricks and mortar shop. My local bricks and mortar shop is really, really expensive. I do go there if I need things, but I, appreciate their existence but I'm not in a position to pay five times the cost for a zip or some thread snips just to support them. Also they're awfully unfriendly and they have big signs everywhere saying you must not take pictures which is really unhelpful when you're wanting to swatch things. The fact is we are living in a global economy and um, if you want to be savvy about how you purchase then it does like everything in this series it involves some persistence and it involves a bit of research and shopping around uh, but i'm going to show you today how much you can save by buying from sellers that maybe you haven't bought from in the past okay so here we are on the wish website and we're going to look first of all for a seam ripper um you'll see that we get lots of sewing related hits up and it's a matter of doing a bit of maths to work out how much we get for our money. So this one, um, two different sizes of seam rippers, large ones, small ones, six pieces, and they're advertised as free just to pay for shipping. Well, obviously, they have to pay for the item, so the idea that they're free is ludicrous. You have to look at the shipping costs. Some of these ones are advertised as, as free, um, are much more expensive because they um, hike the shipping costs up. So let's have a bit of a closer look. Um, so there are two options here. Um, I'm going to select size box. Six are two pounds with two pounds shipping so four pounds for six and if we go for three they're free with two pounds shipping not the best deal I don't think let's have a look at these I like the look of these eight pieces for a pound how much is the shipping one pound lovely uh, that seems like good value for me I think these are the ones I bought last time Just have a look at a couple more. These are free, five pieces. How much shipping do they want us to pay? Two quid. So, what are they? 40 pence each. Uh, whereas the ones where you get eight for two pounds, that works out at 25 pence each. So, better value. I think I'm going to have those. I'm going to pop those in my shopping basket. Right, that's going in the cart. Lovely stuff. 
Let's have a look for some thread snips now. Um, I have had loads from here. That looks good, four pieces. I'm not sure what that buy one get one free means. But if you buy four for a pound plus shipping, Yeah, you can't choose the colours. Yeah, the shipping's only a pound, so they work out at 50 pence each. That's not too bad. You can read reviews. Um, these 4.3, um, they seem to have got some decent reviews. Arrived nice and early work really well. Let's have a look at some more. These are five for a pound. Very utilitarian. Two pound shipping. So five for three pounds. 60 pence each. I'll work that out right. But these ones are 50 pence each, so these work out to be a better deal. Um, and having had a bit of a browse, I don't think I'm going to get any better than that. So I'm going to pop those in my shopping cart. I'm just going to double check that I can't get them any cheaper on eBay in the UK. Um, let's see how much they are. As you can see, they're all very similar. They're obviously the same items. Um, just got get imported and then sold here. Here we have got one ninety nine for one, two pounds for three, one forty nine for one, no that doesn't work out cheaper does it? Even if you buy two get one free it still works out more expensive I'm not sure if these are in the UK or not yeah exactly the same items So it's back to good old wish for my thread snips. Next on my list is a French curve and I think I might have got mine from here originally. Mine is exactly like that, it is absolutely brilliant, so handy. That right angle I use all the time for making sure that grain lines are perpendicular. How much are they charging? Three pounds. Um, three pounds shipping. I think we can probably get it cheaper than that. So let's check elsewhere. We've obviously got loads of other sets. Um, there are a few of these that I'm interested in. I don't have a good set of French curves. I want one of those flexi curves. Um, so let's have a look at how much set E is. £11. And then the shipping is... The shipping seven pounds, so that works out really expensive. I think eighteen pounds. I mean, you do get a lot in the set. Um, it is easy to start thinking that everything is so cheap that you start forgetting the actual value of things. Um, a lot of it depends on how much you need it, you know. Um, but that's more than I'm going to be paying today for my theoretical French curve. So let's check on Amazon for a French curve. There we 
go. Quite a selection. 124 seems like pretty cheap. With free postage, they are coming from China, so again, you've got to wait. This is similar to getting getting them from Wish, in that you've still got to wait for the delivery. Yeah, they all seem to be like that particular one. 125 so that's the cheapest we've got I mean as you can see they even shave off uh, a penny in the effort to be competitive and come up with the cheapest so let's pop that one in our basket oh that is mine that I said was really good so maybe it's worth paying the 143 for this version. It's not super super thick rigid plastic but actually that isn't too much of a problem it's quite good that it bends a little bit. Um, it works a little bit better when you you've got lumps and bumps and pattern weights and things. Right so we're gonna get this one instead. I am just gonna do a little check on Amazon. See there's one from Plush Addict which is a well regarded sewing brand um, but it's £14. That's such a big difference in terms of uh, price. Uh, you know I'm, I'm guessing that the item is probably the same. Now here's one coming up as a suggested item and oh look it turns out that this is the one I originally bought. 165 so um, eBay are coming in a little bit cheaper for this item. It was £1.40 something, wasn't it, on eBay? But it's always worth checking. Let's check a couple of other ones. I normally check maybe the first couple of pages. But after that, you've kind of seen most things that, you exp that you're going to find, really. Ooh, while we're here, um, a pattern master's just come up as one of my suggested items and I just have to recommend it because I bought one when I was doing my pattern drafting course and they are absolutely brilliant. Um, you can see these little lines um, by the ruler at moving in. They're actually at 5mm increments so they are brilliant for marking seam allowances. You can use those ones for marking seam allowances on the straight, but actually um, if you have a look at the curved part, you'll see that on the curve you've got a 5mm and a 1cm seam allowance as well. So if you use anything like Birder magazine um, or anything that you have to trace seam allowances onto, it's absolutely brilliant. I use mine all the time. Um, they are definitely worth the investment. Um, and I think I paid about the same as that for mine. I couldn't get it any cheaper elsewhere. Next up on my list, let's look for some tweezers. I can't live without my tweezers. I use them for everything. I use them for threading things. I've got a set like this. Uh, they're very long. I use them for fishing out. I'll just ignore the horrible gruesome pictures of fingers, splinters in fingers. Um, I use them for fishing out invisible zips at the bottom um, between the seam allowance. Um, I use them for threading things, threading the overlocker. Most of all I use them for picking out bits of cotton, uh, bits of thread rather, when you're unpicking. I Let's have a look, these ones are £2 plus £3 shipping, so £5 for six pieces, that doesn't seem too good. These are £2 with £2 shipping, better. Um, a 
it looks like there are different colour options as well on these ones. Here are just some small standard tweezers. They say they're free but it's £3 shipping so I don't think that's great value. I think you could probably get those cheaper in Primark which is where I buy my eyebrow tweezers from. Or the pound shop. We'll do another video one day about the pound shop and all the wonderful things that can be found there. These are pretty. One pound. I don't know how many do you get there. You can choose which colour. They're very pretty. Looks like you get two, two pieces. So it's three pounds for two pieces, which if you like pretty things, it might be worth paying the extra bit of money for. Oh, they're nice, aren't they? Rainbow metallic. But I'm afraid I am all about the practicality and the saving money, so I won't be getting the pretty ones. Let's have a quick double check on eBay. See if we can get anything cheaper. No, they're coming out at a pound each. Um, no, no. I mean, professional tweezers are ever so expensive, aren't they? Looks like the sky's the limit when it comes to things like this. When the, when it comes to beauty things, I, oh, they're the ones that I liked, aren't they? The same ones, three pounds sixty nine. They are. And. No, it doesn't look like we can get them any cheaper on eBay. So it's back to Wish, and I actually found this six-piece, uh, very sort of utilitarian packet of tweezers for uh, one pound plus two pound shipping. So I got six pairs for three pounds there. Next up, it's the dressmaking essential good fabric scissors. Now I've never looked for fabric scissors on Wish. I'm not sure how I would feel about buying them, um, but let's have a quick squiz anyway. Let's have a little look at these. They are £4 with how much is shipping? Another £4, so £8. Not too bad for fabric scissors. Let's have a little look at Amazon's offering for fabric scissors. Dress making scissors, 9 inch. 11.49. Now they've got a very high rating on a good number of reviews, nearly 400 reviews, which makes you wonder if they really are, you know, the real deal. Um, they seem like very good value and it seems unlikely that they would have so many positive reviews if they weren't great. Looks like they come with some free thread snips. Um, yeah, I mean, there are very few even one-star reviews. I think these are definitely ones to bear in mind. However, I have got a, a secret weapon up my sleeve, which is these ones. They are IKEA sewing scissors. They're called Psy. You can only buy them in store because um, they won't post them because of them being sharp. There's a lot of restrictions on scissors. Um, they are absolutely brilliant. Um, I think they're about 25 centimetres long. I've got two other pairs of dressmaking scissors, some rose gold hemline ones, which were a present from Chantel at Christmas, and they are lovely. And they're brilliant with uh, knit fabrics, actually. They're really good. Um, and I've got a pair of fancy Ernest Wright scissors, which people rave on about. And being a Sheffield lass, I obviously really wanted to support Ernest Wright. However, the scissors I reach for day to day are these Psy ones. They are absolutely brilliant, and for a fiver, I just wholly recommend them. I bought my first pair a few years back, um, but then because I was didn't really take to dressmaking at that time. I finished using them for all sorts. And uh, so obviously the, the blades got blunt. Um, so I replaced them recently and sharpened the blades regularly. I do think it's worth investing in a scissor, scissor sharpener if you're a dressmaker. 
let's just go on the Ernest Wright website and have a little look at the scissors I've got just for comparison's sake. Um, mine aren't 12 inch, I don't think. No, 12 inches, 30 centimetres. I think mine are probably these 8 inch dressmaker's shears. They're 95 euro, which is about 85 quid, I think. Um, yeah, I'm really, really disappointed with them. Unfortunately, um, I do think that there's a lot of hype around expensive things and often you're paying for the name and paying for the kudos and it becomes a bit kind of status symbol -y. You might disagree with me anyway, another soapbox. Anyway, the IKEA scissors are the win for me, the top of the pops for me. So um, let's add those to our list uh, of metaphorical sewing essentials. Let's have a quick look as well at how much a scissor sharpener is. I have heard people say that they've bought very expensive scissors that have never needed sharpening, but I don't know. This is the one I've got, the Fiskus one, that's £10 odd. Um, it is obviously an extra outlay, but I think you should sharpen your scissors regularly. I sharpen mine almost after every use. I sharpen my paper ones all the time too. It's just so much easier to cut your patterns when you when your scissors are sharp. Um, but they're not an essential, so they're not being included in today's vlog. Next up, let's have a look for some chalk. Now, I don't use chalk very much. Um, I prefer using uh, friction pens where I can because I just think that they're really accurate and I like the way that they totally disappear when you iron them. However, there are some uh, fabrics that you just have to use chalk on that pens won't show up on. Let's see how much these are then. Um, so they're two pounds for ten pieces by the looks. With shipping two quid. So ten pieces um, come to four pounds. Let's see if we get any discount for buying in bulk. 30 pieces, three pounds plus shipping, four pounds, so seven pounds for 30 pieces. Let's see if we can beat that price. 20 pieces, two pounds plus two pounds shipping, so four pounds for 20 pieces. I think this one is a good deal coming in at um, 20 pence per unit. However, a bit further down the page, I have found for one pound plus two pound shipping for 20 pieces, which brings it in at 15 pence per unit. So this is going to be my happy place. Thank the Lord for mental arithmetic. I was awful at maths at school, but it really does come in handy when you get older, doesn't it? Right, so I'm going to pop those in my basket. These are these washable pens. Um, here it looks like they are, you get four in a pack and um, for two pounds. I just think buy some um, washable felt tips from Wilco, they probably cost you about three quid for 30 and you'll get them in all different colours so there'll be one to match every project. They're exactly the same as the ones they sell in haberdasheries. Um, they wash, they're washable so um, I think you can save a bit of money there. Next up is pins. We all need them. Let's have a look and see what we can get. I'm back on Wish. Let's have a look at these 800 pieces, four pounds, and the shipping is four pounds, so eight pounds for 800 pins. Have a look at some of the ones. I mean, eight pounds does seem like a lot. I think I'm going to go for these, the free ones, you get 120 pins. Um, and the shipping's just two pounds, so I think that, that looks like the best bet for my pins. So these ones are going to go in my basket. 
For the purposes of comparison, I've chosen to use Prim and I've got all the information from their website for the items that I could. There was one or two which seemed to be um, out of stock on the website, so I, I used Amazon instead as a point of reference. So we've got a packet of pins, £3.15. I have tried to match items as accurately as I can. Um, so I, I've tried to make them like for like comparisons. Now we've got a seam ripper, which I've cut the price off but was £3.60. Uh, that's just for one, obviously. Now we've got some thread snips, which are an eye-watering £14.20. A French curve, which is £19.95. And some dressmaking scissors, which are £31.20. Some tweezers, which are £9.12, including delivery. And finally, some chalk, which is £2.27. So, being the geek that I am, I made a spreadsheet. Here are all my sewing essential items, my seven items. Here is uh, where I fin finished up buying them from. Um, here is the price that I paid for the cheap versions and here is the price uh, that you'd pay if you bought them from Prim. Um, so using the magic of technology, let's just add these up. My cheapy items comes to £18.43 and the expensive items come to, well you can read it yourself, and how much have I saved? This is my magic number, I've saved 60 odd quid and that is worth having. I hope you enjoyed that. Can you add anything? I love to hear about other people's sewing kits and um, what is your thing that you can't live without. I use my tweezers absolutely all the time and if I'm not sewing and I'm walking past a mirror, then I've got my tweezers with me and I can pluck my moustache at the same time. Um, okay, so I hope this has been sorry, itchy nose. I hope this has been a fun episode. All right. I hope you're going to have a fabulous sewing weekend. I have got loads and loads of stuff planned. Um, Mr Ian is visiting family up in Scotland. So I am on my own and I'll be snipping, snipping and just basically having a massive great soakation. Um, I'm also going to try and give myself a bit of a break from social media this weekend because I've been very busy and I know I keep on going on about this side project I've been working on but it hasn't been the right time to tell you about it so that'll be next week anyway. I've had a lot on my mind, um, things have been a bit hectic, it's been getting to me a little bit and I think social media has just been like the kind of um, the straw that broke the JJ's back. So I'm hoping to have a little rest this weekend and also do a little bit of writing because I do like writing creatively and I've not done any for ages. So that's my sewing weekend. What have you got on? Please let me know downstairs and I shall see you very, very soon. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video, click on subscribe if you haven't already and click on the bell, ding ding, to get notifications when I post my latest vlog. It's been lovely spending time with you today. Big kisses sewing sisters. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Bye.